Hello everybody, my name is Luigi Pengare and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fill a large area just like this one in Minecraft. Now, you don't need any uh, third party programs, you don't need buckets, you don't need world edit. This can all be done using console commands within Minecraft. This is an updated version for my last tutorial on this very subject for Minecraft PC version 1.9.0. Okay, so here is our frame in a nice square shape. And the first step is to go to, let's say, the top left corner of this frame. And we place a block right there in the corner and then we go to the bottom right part of the frame now it doesn't have to be exactly like this it could be any either of the either of the corners that you must put a block in uh, as long as you got a block on one corner and a block on the opposite corner okay once we've done that we go to the block and we put our mouse cursor over it our crosshair as you can see, you can tell this block has been highlighted because it's got a black, uh, a faint black outline, and you can say uh, you can tell that it's been highlighted. The next step is to press F3 on our keyboard, and it opens up Minecraft's debug menu. Now, what we want to look for is the looking at, which I will highlight on the screen right there. This is what we need to type in. So we press T on the keyboard to open up a chat window and this will allow us to import different commands. So we've got to type in the numbers of the looking at section of the debug menu and we've got to be exact. So in this case it will be 113 space 17 space minus 418. And it's got to be exact. Now we press enter and it disappears, but Minecraft will remember that. Okay, turn debug menu off. We go to the opposite corner. And once again, we put our cursor, our crosshair on the block. Make sure it's highlighted. You can tell it's been highlighted because it's got the black uh, faint lines around it. We enter debug mode again by pressing F3 and once again we're going to take the numbers from the looking at part of the debug menu so we press T to enter the chat window now we press up arrow and it'll give us our previous numbers we press space and then we're going to copy the exact numbers from the looking at just like before one four three 17 space minus 444 four, four. and we've done that correctly we press enter and it disappears now minecraft will remember that so next we need to figure out what block that we want to fill in this shape our uh, huge planar surface is now to what we need then is the ID of our block in this example in this tutorial I'm going to use the quartz block now to find the ID of a certain block um, there are some websites you can go my favorite of these is minecraftinfo.com and you can simply go to blocks and we can search for quartz block right there. This is important. What we're looking for is the ID name right here. And in this case, in this example, it's quartz underscore block, not block underscore of underscore quartz, quartz underscore block. So the reason why I'm letting you know of this website is so you can get the exact name of the ID because some of the names can be quite confusing and you might type it in and it's not working and you wonder why it's not working most of the time it's because the ID name is wrong 
So in this case, the ID for the block of quartz is quartz underscore block. Now we go back to Minecraft and the sun has setting and we press T once again to open up chat. We press up arrow on our keyboard and now it brings up our two string of numbers. You see them right there. Uh, the first three numbers come from one corner with a space in the middle and the last three numbers from the other corner. Now what we're going to do is do a space and we're going to type in the ID of our chosen block. In this case it's quartz, so it's quartz underscore block. Now we use the left arrow key to go all the way back to the beginning uh, before the first string of numbers and we're going to type in our console commands and the command is slash fill space now this is what we've got so far if we've done everything correctly we've got slash fill space the first three numbers with spaces in between each one space the next three numbers interspersed with spaces another space and then the ID of our block. If it's all correct, then press hit enter on the keyboard, allow our computer to calculate, and voila, it's done. Our shape, our frame, this huge area has been filled with quartz block. Thank you all for watching, and if this tutorial has helped you, please share this with others on the social media so we can all help each other. Hope this is useful for you. Thank you for watching.